So this pastel paper I've got is literally just, it's Fabriano and it's the C color. So it's a blue toned paper. Um, I haven't used it very much, so I don't know exactly how great it is. My apologies for the shadow at the top here. Uh, I, I've had some major issues with my tripod and I had to um, kind of put my camera on some boxes. So we're having major shadow issues. I'm going to leave the pencils for the swatches to try with the gesso. <laughs> the time has come. <gasps> oh. Let's have a look at this yellow. Oh, look at this yellow. I love it. I love how crumbly, crumbly it is too. I just... I'm a soft pastel. Oh. That's really nice. It's a fair bit of, um, what you call it? Dust, but that is to be expected with a super soft pastel. Um, I, I may have had too high expectations. I don't mean to burst, it, they're nice. Don't get me wrong, they're really nice. But I came in with these these were up on a massive big pedestal. Um, and for a really an extra soft, I want to be able to lay down a lot of pastel in there. Hmm. I'm going to try something. This is where I whip out the old, I'm trying the gesso. I'm trying the gesso early. Let's try this gesso. I'm putting, I'm going to put the gesso right next to it. This might, it might be the paper. I don't know. I just, I, I'm feeling underwhelmed with these. Ah, oh, my paintbrush still has purple in it. But anyway, that's fine. I'm feeling a little underwhelmed with this gesso as well. Ah, uh, just, it doesn't have tooth like the Liquitex. I've got a little bit of Liquitex here. I'm going to put it next to it. And we're going to, so you can, al I can already feel the tooth in that. Look how far it goes, man. That's, that was a couple of little drops. Let them dry. Oh, I'm really hoping... I'm being too harsh. That's what I'm hoping. Let's just try while they these are drying the gessos. Uh, I'm just gonna keep swatch, swatching these. I oh, see that actually feels softer. The violet feels softer than the yellow, and these are really annoying. <laughs> like it's great they're paper, but I have to pull it off because it's just it's too high. Uh, Look, they're okay. They're not too bad. Like that violet was, um, I would say that violet is a lot more, is a lot softer than that yellow, actually. Anyway, let's keep trying. Let's keep swatching these bad boys. So that needs time to dry. All right, so let's have a look at these turquoises and blues i'm feeling disheartened and i think you can hear that in my voice because these are not cheap <laughs> um and i just feel like they're not really much different to their regular ones just they're maybe slightly fatter they're not that much fatter either really anyway oh see actually that one oh feels so buttery that's what you want. You want a nice buttery feel. Especially because these they're soup extra soft. When they're extra soft, you want them to be buttery. Buttery. No, and that one was that one was really nice. Uh, 
Actually, that green on this blue looks really good. So some of these must be a little bit longer too because the label doesn't cover them as much. Ah, oh, see, that one's nice and buttery too. Maybe it's just a dodgy yellow. Why does yellow have to be dodgy? See, that's what I expected. That's nice. That These turquoises are bloody beautiful, mate. Yeah, look at that. I don't normally blend with my finger and stuff, but for the sake of this, I will, because I just want to see how nice and smooth it is. Let's grab the next turquoise. See, this one must be shorter, because the paper covers almost the whole thing. That's a bloody nice colour. That's really nice. What's that? Turquoise C. Oh, yeah, that's nice. See, that's buttery too. Why does the yellow have to be the dodgy one? I don't know if it's dodgy or maybe it could be a... I know there's a lot to do with, like, the pigments and things like that, but... Yeah, they're very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice. Turquoise D. So this one, I think, is the one that's had maybe a bit of black added. Oh, see, and that's still buttery. I thought maybe... Because it was white added to them. Maybe they were more buttery because of that. But this one is just as buttery. It's bloody beautiful. It's lovely. That is. It's really lovely. This is probably not the greatest paper because it hasn't got a great tooth to it. I usually use my tintes. Uh, I, I made it sound like I knew how to say that. I don't. It's spelled M-I-T-E-I-T. -E oh, N-T-E-S. My Tintes? Tints? My tints? I don't know. Oh, this is actually very similar colour to the paper. Slightly lighter. Um, not as buttery, but still nice. Still really nice. Still nicer than the yellow. Can I say? Which is a real shame. Get that butteriness in that yellow. Because, like, even look at that. Like, I don't know if you can see it, but that yellow, like, it is, is very textured. Like, these ones, especially when I've um, blend, blended them with my finger, they're super smooth. And that's what you want with a really nice soft pastel. Ah, oh, look at that. That's really nice. I want to do a nice big artwork with these. So I got a, I got some nice big watercolor paper and a couple of big of the big bits of the matientes. Ah, again, I don't know how to say it. I'm sorry if I'm completely butchering it. This is, this is a, these are really nice colors. This is a nice set. Oh, such a nice set. Have I mentioned they're nice? <laughs> Oh, look at that. That's really good. Uh, is it good and not nice then? See, these ones are heaps nicer than the yellow. I'm oh, just... I think I'm just gutted that the yellow is not perfect. Now, this is over a little bit of... So, over here is gessoed with the Liquitex, and over here is not. That blue is beautiful. Oh, thallo blue. Who could go wrong with thallo blue? Thallo. Thallo is the pea silent. I don't know. So I'm going to try this yellow one. This gessoed bit here is actually dry. Oh, no. Hang on. Let me finish. I'll finish these ones first. Oh, see that purple. Uh what is it? Ultramarine. Oh, well, it's not purple at all. It's probably more like a periwinkle. That is buttery. That's lovely. That is, oh, that, oh, that just melt. that melted my heart. That, oh, look at that. Oh, is the ultramarine going to be as beautiful? Oh, no. <laughs> It's nice, but that one is so buttery, but then this one's not so buttery. 
it's still nice it's still more buttery than that bloody yellow oh, but i love at the moment i've got a bit of a thing for ultramarine blue and my camera is just not doing it justice oh, anyway where did i put oh here we go let's get this yellow again let's try on art spectrum gesso uh, let's get rid of some of this paper. This is shitting me off. Uh, we'll go from this end. Because I want to know what the colour is. Alright. No, it, it's just not buttery. It's just... Ah, mate. Oh, it's a little bit better on the Liquitex gesso. Oh, I'm sorry, Art Spectrum Gesso, Clear Gesso. You just don't have any tooth in it whatsoever. It's a mu it's much better with more tooth, but I just expect it better from you, little yellow. It's really sad. Anyway, move on. Let's move on to the purples. Let's try these purples. I'm actually going to turn the whole sheet around because there's a heap on this on the bottom here that I haven't actually used. Let's have a look at these violets. Mm -mm -mm. Violet, violet. Mm -mm. All right. Let's, I'm gonna, let's start up here. I'm just going down the rows. Oh. I just, I'm a colour, I'm a colour, I was about to say something else and I thought no I better not, I am going back into teaching next year and I better not swear too much on here, I am going to still say shit though, <laughs> you know, I don't, so what's this one, this one's Flinders Red Violet C, that was B, so this one's C, Oh, see that one's not very smooth not buttery i just for extra soft i wanted them to be really nice and buttery they blend beautifully <sighs> look at that that's a nice i'm not i am not a particularly perfect artist not that anyone is perfect but that's a not that's that was easy to blend easy as so flinders red violet d Mm, yeah, not bad. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I am a little disappointed in these. They're beautiful. Don't get me wrong. And I will use them. I'm going to use the shit out of them. And they're probably going to be my new favourites. But before I bought them, I had this massive high expectations. And unfortunately, they've just not hit. They just have not gotten there. That one's really, that's similar to the yellow. Really quite rough. Not as smooth and buttery. Flinders Violet, Red Violet E. Not as buttery. So this is just Violet A. Beautiful colours, can I say though. It's a, a, they've actually made a really good selection of colours for this kit. So that's Violet A. This is Violet B. Because even though I really like these pinky red violets, um, I am really happy they put in a couple of blue violets. So this is, this is much, very much on the same playing field as the yellow. This is not soft at all. That's hard to get a really nice smooth, oh, and there's a bit of something in it, you know, when it goes a bit, ah. Oh. Yeah, see, that's it's just, that's very much, what's this one? Violet B, you are on the same team as yellow. Sorry, bud. Not good. Now, this is a beautiful colour. Violet C. Oh, mate, 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 mate. And what's with this paper covering the whole lot? It's frustrating me. Oh. And now I can't, I can't get it. There you go, I've got it. 
I'm ripping off half the information, but you know, whatevs. That is a beautiful colour, but again, like I'm pressing really hard here. Sorry, Violet C, you are in the same field as yellow. Violets, the violets have not been great. Those, especially these, these regular violets, not so much the red violets. They were really nice. Alright, so this one is Violet D. So I'm assuming this has oh, that colour. Oh, but unfortunately, just like the other violets, it's not buttery smooth. It's it's rough. Like that's as I don't usually blend with my fingers. So I usually put layer upon layer and put on layer until the actual pastels blend it for you. But I am trying and I'm still seeing paper through that. Even pressing really, like in the, yeah. Let's try another layer on top of that. Oh, it's a shame because it's such beautiful colours. Those, yeah, those violets, the straight violets, A, B, C and D, were rough. They were hard. Well, they're not hard. They're still soft pastels. But in comparison to what I thought a extra soft pastel would be, yeah, kind of not really. Ah, oh, see, this is beautiful. This one's Flinders Blue Violet. It's a nice, it's buttery. Beautiful. They're a bit hit and miss. Ah, oh, I wish I wasn't saying this because I'd love Art Spectrum to come to me and give me free stuff. <laughs> but, ah, oh, they're just, yeah, so this one's Flinders, ah, oh, and this one's broken. Damn it. Look, I'm not going to complain about that because they're meant to be extra soft. So if you get a broken one, you, you live with it. Get over it. See, and that is buttery. That is nice. That is what they should be. I'd rather them be broken and be like that. Look at that. It's almost black. That is a nice... I'm just going to... Oh, that's deep. That's really deep. Wowzers. But beautifully buttery. That's almost a black. All right. Those ones are done. Oh, I'm sorry I got so disappointed with them. Anyway, I'm just going to flip it. <laughs> I haven't put gesso on these yet, but I might just try it over the top of them. Let's go. This one here is Midnight Black. I wanted an almost black navy. Oh. Geez, they're nice. Buttery. Buttery. <laughs> How many times can you say the word buttery in a video? Yeah, they're nice. They're not as soft as Prismacolors, but I don't know. I'm too worried about that. This is Pacific Blue. Oh, yeah, that's a nice blue. Not as bright as I thought it would be, but it's still quite a nice, deep, oceany blue. Yeah, nice. This is just magenta. Oh, yeah. Mm. Again, not as bright as I thought, but still a really nice colour. Let's try this one. I oh, see that's not going over them at all. Oh, I had high hopes for all these. And this one's ochre, yellow ochre. Surprise, surprise. Oh yeah. So they seem to be going over. I think because it the global was a bit thinner, so you got a bit more paper texture. Although that's going, that yellow ochre is going over nicely over the yellow ochre. Oh, that is too. Oh, they go over really nicely over that one, but not so much the Prussian blue hue. That's interesting. Very interesting. I just want to see what they're like on this paper. Oh, oh, heaven, heaven, beautiful buttery oh, on this paper. That's really nice. Oh, you know what I need to try? Oh my gosh, where is 
my little watercolor bit. Oh, let's see how they go over this. Oh, that's, yeah, oh, look at that, that's really nice. Where it's just solid ink, it doesn't go quite as well, but on this bit over here, oh, they're lovely. Look at that. Beautiful! Oh, just I just want to keep drawing. These make me want to keep drawing. I the extra soft square pastels kind of did not. They didn't want me to jump up and get a nice. Oh, that's nice. A uh, nice big bit of paper and just start drawing. Can I just say this paper? is absolutely beautiful if i can afford it i'm going to go back and get it but it is super expensive this is the issue i want to know if i can try and make something similar anyway beautiful paper works beautifully ink pencil everything nice 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 anyway let's try i'm reluctant oh I'm reluctant to try these, that's right. This bloody lid won't come off. That's... Get off, you bum. Anyway, let's just try them. We'll try them out. Oh, see, that's beautiful. These are just soft pastels. These are not extra soft. The big fat ones are extra soft. These ones are normal, but that's softer. I don't know, maybe I'm not, I can't. Oh, see, that yellow ochre is soft. It's lovely. It's laying down colour really well so is that um, those yellow ochres are very similar but there is a slight tonal change to them <laughs> that's lovely see that is broken which is annoying but um that is softer because that is the exact same colour. Oh, no, it's not. Violet B. This is Flinders Red Violet. That's just regular violet. See, it's just not as soft. The extra softs are not as soft as the regular soft. I don't understand that. That's really... They're soft as. They lay down colour so beautifully. I just... These ones are really disappointing. I don't understand it. Someone let me know if you know what well, maybe what I'm doing wrong. Why is it like that? But it just doesn't make sense to me. All right, let's just try these. <laughs> let's just get them done. <laughs> no, I, look, I'm disappointed because I've wanted them for so long, and I know I keep just repeating myself. I just, yeah, anyway, get over it, Courtney. You know how they say, never meet your heroes, never, never meet your. Yeah, your heroes, is it? Anyway, don't do that. <laughs> uh, so this one's not as soft, but... Beautiful colour. What is this one again? This one's... Bordeaux. Bordeaux. Mm, look at that colour. <laughs> See, some of these are not as soft as others, but I kind of expect that for these ones. I expect it. Um, what was that last one? Oh, that was the Bordeaux. Yeah, Bordeaux. What was the first one? Also Bordeaux. So they're, they're different tones of the same pigment. This one, Permanent Rose. Oh, that is amazing. What is the light fastness of that? Because usually your pinks aren't as light fast as other colours. Why? No, I don't know. That's lovely. These, I'm really, really happy with these reds. 
and pinks. I'm kind of wish hope <laughs> kind of wish we didn't oh, I suppose this this red in this pack is not in this pack. This is more of a pinky maroney red. Spectrum red. So this is obviously I think uh, I think it's W the lightest one because it's whiting because it's got it is the lightest but look at that oh, oh. <laughs> now I'm happy with these ones very happy with these ones pop, pop the lid back on that one put them over there let's try these ones this kit set now I'm uh, just FYI Sun's just going down here in Australia, where I am, and uh, I am getting eaten alive by mozzies. <laughs> uh, yeah, big time. On my feet, they seem to be always getting my feet lately. I'm going to start with the darker one again. Oh, actually, that red, actually, this poppy red, I would say, is probably, it's a very warm red. Mm, that's nice. That's, that's nice. Oh, whoops. Oh, that's, that's less, that's spectrum red. I was going to say, that's more of like a blood red. That's red red. Whereas that first one's almost an orangey red. Like I said, very warm red. Oh, that's a nice orange. What's that? Spectrum orange. This one's golden yellow. Yeah, that's nice. That'd go really nicely with my ochres. Yeah, you, you, yeah. You, you, yeah. Let's have a look, yellow. Oh, so this yellow is a little bit harder too. So I'm wondering if it's got something to do with the pigment. The yellow pigment. Oh, oh it's beautifully in butter for buttery. But again, that's a lot of white in that one. So that's lemon yellow, um, but the whitest one one with the most white let's try these greens oh sorry that's lovely <laughs> that's a lovely color and it's buttery oh that can't really see it too much on this paper but that is a beautiful color what's that terra verte i'm sorry i know it's french and i'm not very good at french my bad Oh, sorry, I didn't even talk about that one. What's that one? Oxide of chromium. Chromium? Chrom chromium. What's this one? Australian leaf green. Beautiful. What colour is that? Grass green. Really nice. I really like this green palette. I don't even remember what I've said or anything. Uh, this last one is yellow green. Very similar to grass green. I kind of feel like that needs a little bit more yellow in it. I know the camera makes it look like it's very... Well, because to me, yellow green is lime green. And I wouldn't say that's lime green. But anyway... I think it could add a little bit more yellow, but that's neither here nor there. That's fine. I am gonna, I'm gonna have to do an artwork using these materials. I won't do it in this video because it's already super long. So generally speaking, I love the their regular Addis Art Spectrum's regular soft pastels. A little bit disappointed with the extra soft pastels. Kind of don't feel like there's much difference other than the shape of them uh love the atelier acrylic paint Pr love the posca pens love these derwent life fast pencils i'm gonna have to do something with them i'm not sure what as of yet but yeah love everything else i do love the extra socks <laughs> uh they're just not quite they're just they're just not what i was expecting I expected something a bit different, that's all. Anyways, thanks for watching. 
And stay tuned when I use some of these in an artwork. Ooh, another thing I'm going to be doing in an upcoming video, I don't know whether it's going to be my next one or not, um, I'm going to be making my own soft pastels. What? Uh, so I'm going to take you along for the ride when I make my very first soft pastels, which I'm pretty excited about. I've got, I've got all the stuff ready to roll. I don't have a heap of colours because the pigments are what is expensive because these and most other soft pastels, except for your real cheapy ones, your cheap soft pastels have a lot less pigment. But your good quality pigments, uh, good quality soft pastels are like 99.9% .9 pigment with like the tiniest little bit of binder and basically water. And then the water evaporates uh, and you're left with a soft pastel. For now, thank you so much for joining me. I've really enjoyed this. Sorry, <laughs> didn't mean to be so disappointed <laughs> in things, but. I've had a lot of fun and I hope you have too. So see you later.